corner of your heart if written some kind of hatred, some kind of bitterness, unforgiveness remains in you, you are not loving your brothers. Then the one who does not love remains in death. What is love? I don't want to read. If you go home and read First Corinthians chapter 13, the, the qualities of love. It talks about love, suffering, forgiveness. You don't boast. All those things you need to have. You know, one of the biggest problems with mankind is selfishness. We all are driven by something called selfishness. At any point, at every point, the selfishness somehow grips us. I want my things to be done first. Sometimes we exercise selfishness even against our own love. A husband can exercise his selfishness against his wife and a wife against his husband. Even the parents against children in the world. My thing, my sleep, my rest is more important than my children's play perhaps. I mean, that's how we, we, have, we are selfish. And because of selfishness and self-glory, self-boasting, we do so many things that we have seen in uh, uh, John, uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. The things in the world. What is the world? Lust of flesh, lust of eyes, and pride of life. Pride of life is so important to all of us. And because of that, we begin to have that little bit of hatred, dislike, church in nature. We judge people. Suddenly we church. I want to, you to take note of those things. If those things are there, then this scripture that we have left read before. Do you not love your brother? Then you are living already in death. Dangerous word. Verse 15. Chapter 3, verse 15. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life dividing him. Now see, book of the first epistle of John is so strongly talking about the coming of Lord Jesus Christ. If you notice it carefully, he's preparing the church, when it's written, preparing the church for the coming of the Lord. He says, if you are not careful in these areas, you will not be ready to be raptured. Means if you don't have love, you are not children of God. What he says here, whoever hates his brother is a murderer. Murderer. If you hate somebody in the church, and we do it. If you came out of it, it's fine. It's very important, brothers and sisters. If you hate a brother, it's like murdering him. And he says, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. And this one more very interesting scripture, 1 John 3.16. It's exactly contrasting scripture with John 3.16. John 3.16, how many of you know? God, so the soul of the world. So it gave us only without the Son. And here look at this. By this we know love. There is a love, God's love. He gave his only begotten Son. And here it is. By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us. And we also ought to lay down our lives for Hallelujah. Just think of it. Does this go to heart? Somewhere. Can't take your heart somewhere? You have to lay your life for your brothers as Jesus has laid his life for you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Mm -hmm. And this is what is required of us. How do we do it? It's not easy. But if you're walking in the Spirit of God, if you're abiding in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit has been given to us as a one who leads us, guides us, He strengthens us. It's not necessary that we give life. You begin to love. The true love of God begins to manifest in you because the Spirit of God in you. Do not forget, Holy Spirit abides with you forever until the end. You know that? And when He is there, if you let Him manifest in you, he will do the works of God in you and through you. These words, let this not bring fear unto you. Just receive. You need to walk in anointing the same. And the love of God. We know love of God is called agape. 
means. Then it doesn't require anything to give back to get that love. Only God has it. But because of His Holy Spirit, He imparted the love to us. Amen? He imparted that love because not because our strength you can love anybody. It's difficult. I understand. It's not easy. But if you are a person walking in the Spirit under the power of anointing, nothing will be impossible for you. That's the good news. <coughs> and we will be raptured. You know the word, when you take the word, receive the word into your heart and ponder it. When you go home, you must think. You should don't forget, rapture is a real thing. Think about rapture every night when you pray, God, Jesus, if you're coming tonight when I'm asleep, I want to be with you. Tomorrow morning, I want to be with you. I want to be ready every moment. Look for yourself. Is there anything that's hindering you and your relationship with God? Set yourself right away on this every day. It says every day, you know, you must keep your own small little account with God. Clear your account. account. Hallelujah. <coughs> Going further, <coughs> then we'll close quickly. Verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed, in deed and in truth. So that is it. Brother, I like you, you are a good man. No, that is the work. James talks about faith without works is dead. So let, at the end of the day, in this church, this small little church, we are a very small group. You should not have anybody in this church, every single person. For example, Pastor Dennis keeps an account of people, he knows them, Pastor Arun, some pastors keep. But anyone sitting in any corner should know the rest of the brothers and sisters by name. Not only that, try to find out who is in need of what. Some people need prayer. Some people may be going through difficulties. They don't talk, maybe financial difficulties, sickness problems and if you have power to do good and if you did not do it the word of God says it's a sin for you serious business this church is a serious business amen, amen. everyone here are for a serious business we are not here to just have a little fun time together we'll have fun time in the presence of the Lord no doubt but we want to love one another begin to Develop relationship with each other. Know each one's needs. Try to meet people. Say hello at the end. Don't run away when the church, some of us having habit, and the church is run away. But we want you to run away because of the time problem here. That does not mean you don't have to think about people and meet them, talk to them, find out who's new here for the first time. Meet them. Get them, get closer to them. Meet the needs of others. That's love. Anointing and love. I just want to call your attention same thing. Are you walking in that anointing? Sometimes we need to stir up. Are you walking in the power of the Holy Ghost? Every day. Some of you came for encounter, stirred up, Filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, spoke in tongues, now forgotten. How many of you are there? Yeah? That day you spoke fine and forgotten. We have to have that relationship with God every day. Holy Spirit anointing, walk in the Spirit, Holy Spirit anointing, because we read very clearly. Because the anointing is upon you, you will know all things. If you have the anointing, you will begin to feel in the atmosphere the coming of the Lord. Because He will begin to tell us, He will begin to tell us what's going to come to pass. John chapter 16 verse 30 says, Holy Spirit will tell us the things that are going to come to pass. Hallelujah. He will reveal also, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 says, He will reveal the things which are kept secret for people. 
Do you want to walk in the anointing? This is before closing. I just want to, you to be imparted by the by God Himself. But then you are not. Let us tell up the same thing. I want you to close your eyes.